Hi, it's me, it's Lori, the Armchair Chef. How are you today? We're starting a new year. Hopefully you're not sick and everybody's doing well. Um, I did shopping. Hey, look. What you want? <laughs> okay, anyway, that's my cujo. Um, I did shopping. Every once in a while I go by the... Um, Hobby Lobby, if I'm over by Costco, it's just right there. And I'll go and see if they have anything clearance, especially when it rains. They have a roof leak over the yarn department. So I always go and check and see if they've got anything. And last time I went, they had a couple. They had some I Love This Yarn. It is a, um, looks like a variegated. It's a print. No. Um, not sure. It was only $1.25. And they had two of them. So I picked it up because, uh, let's see, two of them is, <laughs> oh, two of them is like 500 yards. That's a lot of yarn, you know, do a hat and a scarf or something. So the rest of this is from the Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale and then all the discounts after that. So I have like five boxes there's not much in a box for some reason they send things out a little bit at a time so I'm gonna go through these probably not take too long but the deals on the Bath and Body Works is great they they're having um right now they're having a 20% off buy three get three free which is great because I have five free items coming but I have to wait till all the sales are over to use them because it doesn't work when everything's on sale, you don't get anything free. Okay, this will be some of my Clarence stuff that I got. I picked up some of the um, car scents for the car. This is the little Christmas one with the car with the Christmas on the top. Package is on the top. And some hand sanitizer. These were $4. Champagne. Apple honey, that sounds good. Those were four dollars. Um, this is a Christmas package. Oh, oops. They're all in there. It's just the bag was open. So I wonder what this smells like then. I can smell it. Ooh, that's not bad. Sparkling icicle. I've been using these a lot lately at work because how contagious this new uh, COVID is. Um, and I got some more of the car scents. These were two dollars for these. Um, sugar snickerdoodle and uh, snowy peach berry for the car and another um, pocket back this one's called winter okay that bag's not open so I can't smell that and it, did I get four I guess I got four seeds I don't remember I got them so long ago pure wonder now I think I don't like that because I went to the store to smell it if I don't like it I'll give this away People at work need this. I'll just leave them in the lunchroom or something. And I got some twisted peppermint for the car. Some snickerdoodle, some peach. I think I got two of each. Yeah. And then another one of these was on sale for two bucks. The little gingerbread man. These would probably be end up. I could send these out as gifts next year. I have so much of this stuff. So, oh my gosh. Oh man, I almost, two items. This box has two items in it. Um, firecracker pop wallflower and another car fragrance, fragrance, the rose. Now, is this because they send them out from the stores? So this store only had these two items in it. This was only, there was no shipping and handling. So this is part of another order that got sent out. They're crazy because they had to pay to have this one sent separate, but I only got charged once. <sighs> That's not very good business. Okay. It's good for the post office, but not good for them. So, okay, let's uh, get this stuff over there. Okay, let's start. Do the next one. Speaking of which, I just I just watched a video and somebody mentioned that um, when you take your stuff to the um, post office, the... Um, 
if you're reusing boxes, it was a young 40 mom. She was just talking about going to the post office. If you're reusing boxes, you need to make sure that all these things are blacked out and you don't want to go across because it can still read the barcode. You want to like go up and down or just cover it completely. If you go up and down, some of the lines are not there, so it can't read the barcode. But if you go across, all the lines are still there. It can read it. So you, you want to um, just cover it up or just make sure it's not readable. Um, and if there's any hazardous markings on the box, don't use it at all. Because your stuff, if it's not hazardous, will be treated as hazardous. And it could take a lot longer or actually get rejected from being put on airplanes and that wouldn't be very good for your for, for your uh your mailing um don't reuse alcohol boxes not a good idea a lot of places they don't like utah you probably can't mail us alcohol so they probably would return it and then i wouldn't get it even if it doesn't have alcohol in it uh these i was just thinking if this has a hazardous mark on it because these pocket bags have alcohol in them so I'm guessing that's not considered hazardous but perfume has hazardous markings on the boxes that have perfume in them and they have alcohol in them too so I'm wondering if there's a difference there because when I sold Avon there was um markings all over the boxes I love the boxes I used to use them for everything um so this one has ooh ooh yes the body cream the pink watermelon I never smelled this one I want to smell it oh that's nice yeah I have a few things trickling in for body care I've put most of it away already so I'll have to go add this to the pile um pumpkin apple for the car that sounds interesting and there's a spiced cranberry toffee wallflower um, yeah, I got four pumpkin apples. I think these were $1.87. The prices went way down. Yeah. These, did I get five of them? Yeah, I did. I got five. They were a dollar. These pumpkin apples were a dollar. Um, I followed my, my girl geeky friend on, uh, I'm sorry, girl geek, the girl geek. And so every time she posts a little video up, I would go take a look and see what the new stuff was that was on sale. And, you know, for a dollar, this stuff is usually, what, four dollars for one of these? And then they went down to two, and then they're, now they're at one. So, yeah, that was a good deal. And I got this to hold my sanitizer. I can wear that at work. I can wear that when I go shopping because I have to start... I have to make sure you take it with me because not all the stores are stocking the sanitizers anymore. You walk in and the dispenser's empty, but then everybody else has already touched that dispenser. So I keep some in the car and I do my hands when I go in and then I do my hands when I come out. But, you know, there's that in between where you touch things and other people have already touched everything. And, oh yeah, it's, it's a badge holder. So you could like put a badge on it or clip it on something, but yeah. It's okay if it's a. Uh, it's okay if it's a uh, Christmas. Doesn't bother me. I think it's pretty, so I may use this. I have a pocket back holder, but it's you know it's small. It's like not around your neck. So we'll put that in there for now. Let's we'll see if there's anything hiding in this box. Nope. Now these boxes are a great size. This is about the size of a small flat rate box at the post office, but you can't use this as a, don't believe you can use this as a flat rate box. I think you have to use the actual post office box as the flat rate box, but it's about this size. So this is a really good size for mailing. It fits really well on the conveyor belt. Um, this is a really good uh, heavy box. Just tape it up good and pack it. And, it, and if you have small things, this is great. They don't put a lot of packing in it. The stuff, it, it, nothing ever breaks. So this is one item. 
It says pumpkin donut. Let's see. Is that a candle? Yes, it is. Mmm. This one was open. Oh, I never smelled this one. Pumpkin pumpkin donut shop. Mmm. That's nice. I, I miss donuts. I gotta have to get some donuts tomorrow. I like to get the, the box of little crullers at Walmart. There's six of them and they're very light and airy. So I can eat them real quick and feel like I'm not eating a lot of donuts. So, okay, there's another candle. Cool box. We have $1.87 wallflowers that are usually $7.50 each. They're $1.87. That was an awesome deal. And it doesn't even matter what they smell like, except if they smell like plants, I can't do them. So I have a gingerbread marshmallow, pink watermelon. Let me take these out of here and get rid of this plastic. Gingerbread marshmallow sounds good. I have, actually both of mine are empty right now because I've been burning the candles and I didn't want to have too many mixed uh, smells. So I did get some doubles because the doubles were like $6. Um, pumpkin pecan waffles. Mmm, that don't smell like pecan or waffles. This one's broken. Oh, this, the box is broken. These must come from a store, I would think, because, I don't know. I don't think nothing's broken. This is the frosted cranberry. And then I have some more singles. This would be Coastal Sun. Um, now I did get leaves because it was $1.87. It says fruity and happy. Now, leaves that are fruity and happy, the only thing I can think of is they would be citrus, like orange leaves or something. Okay, here's one. Spiced cranberry toffee and uh, ocean driftwood. $1.87. I guess nobody liked those scents. And then the candles, these candles were $6.37. So let's see what they were almost giving away. The regular, they were regularly like $25, $26. Um, spiced cardamom. Okay. I've been looking for cardamom, actually. The seasoning, specifically, at the store. I can't find it. I'll probably have to go to like a um, Pier 1 or someplace to find cardamom. Because it's just not at the regular store. Okay, I'm crossing my fingers. Dark cedar wood. I like cedar. Cinnamon and dark cedar. Okay, that'll be marginal. If I, uh -uh, if I think it's cinnamon, then I might be able to do it. If that, that could be that could be rough. I might have to give that one away. That is a. Uh, white barn. So that being six dollars makes sense. Unfortunately, let's put these back in here. Put that other one back in here too. Okay, this one is ooh, pumpkin vanilla cream. That one's gonna be good. Anything with vanilla is usually good. Let's see. This is another white barn. Pumpkin vanilla. Mm, yeah, that smells like a latte. Smells like a uh, Starbucks <laughs> latte. <laughs> hey, Autumn Adventure. Oh, it's very pretty. Oh my goodness. Is this White Barn? This is very pretty. Yeah, this Bath and Body Works. Bright citrus, cedar wood, mint. Oh, look at that pretty that container is. Let me see that label come off. No, but that jar is really pretty. Let's see what kind of adventure this is. Oh, now that's nice. This is better than that other one. This is brighter. It doesn't smell like grass. Autumn. That, that, that is not bad. I like that one. Okay. Put that one back. And one more. This one's been opened out. 
They're all packed differently. Um, oh, warm apple pie. Mmm, that smells good. Warm apple pie. Six dollars. Almost twenty dollars off. You can only do this once a year. I'm still going to have stuff left over, I'm sure, into next year from this sale. But that's okay. I use the shower gel and the um, body cream. I don't get the lotion. And I don't get the misters. I don't get many of those. Those last a really long time. It was nice talking to you. It was nice having you here. Cujo says hi. Hi. <laughs> Bye. Why?